Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing us to be here once again, Lord. We thank you so much for, Lord, Jesus, allowing us to wake up this morning. You started us on our way, Lord. We're in good health. We can walk. We can talk. We can move our hands and our arms, Lord Jesus. We thank you so much for allowing us to have a, a roof of our, over our head, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing us to go through, Lord Jesus, the pandemic, Lord, unscathed, Jesus. Lord, I continue to pray for all the families, the lemons, the tilleries, the chaplains, Lord Jesus, the bishops, Lord. Lord, we pray, and we pray that you have your hedge of protection over them, Lord. We thank you, Lord, so much for all the healings, healings that you bestowed upon them, Lord Jesus. We pray all these things, all these things I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. If I have favor, find favor in your sight. Jesus. Lord, please. Lord, please. Jesus. Hear my heart's cry. Hear my heart's cry, Lord. I'm desperately waiting. Desperately waiting. To be where you are, Lord Jesus. Across the hottest edge. Jesus, no matter what. Travel near or far. Jesus. For your glory. For your glory, Lord Jesus. I will do, I will do anything. anything. For your glory, Jesus. See you I want to see you, Lord, one day in my life. To behold you as my King. I know you're standing in the gap just to see you look on your face to behold you as Jesus Lord if I find favor Lord if I find favor Jesus if I find favor in your sight favor in your sight Lord please Lord please Lord please hear my heart's cry hear my heart's cry Jesus, 
I love you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. I got to be where you are. Need to be where you are. What you need to accomplish in God or in yourself. They have people who are in the sports arena trying to be a championship in basketball. Everybody says, Oh, I told you you'd never be this, I told you never be that. Now they're playing in the NBA, making millions and millions. Some people come out of the projects of Harvest Homes, now they're multi-millionaires. Because they put in their mind, they're not going to let nobody or nothing stop them from accomplishing their success in life. They just won't let you stop them. They're going to keep going. Keep believing and keep trusting in God. Second Kings, the sixth chapter, starting at the 15th verse, and I'm going to stop at the 17th. Second Kings, the sixth chapter, fifteen verse through the seventeenth verse, fifteen verse. And when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, and host complies the city built with horses, chariots, and his servant said unto him, Elias, my master, how? Shall we do? So he had all these horses and chariots around him. And he said, Lord have mercy, we're in trouble now. Can you imagine looking out your house and you have 15 people with guns out there ready to take you out or break your house and take what you got? Can you imagine that? That's just giving you an example of what he may have saw. I'm just putting it in modern terms. 16 verse. And he answered, fear not, for that be with us are more than they that are be with them. 16th verse. 17th verse. He couldn't understand that. He, couldn't, he was baffled by that. The 17th verse. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open my eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses, chariots, five round about Elijah. God is with you. The devil can't get 
get to you. The devil cannot get to you. You have to realize the devil cannot get to you. When the devil come to the reasoning of knowing that he can't get to you, he's going to get to you through your children. He's going to get to you through your spouse. But I can go up for them. You just pray for them. They have the covering over their lives. And you continue to believe and trust in God. The devil can't get to you. And you being a Christian, a person of God, you're not going to listen to that theory. This apple will make you knowledgeable. This apple will make you the smartest person in the world. You know how it goes. And I told you a story about how people will do everything they can to stop you from succeeding. Even the more when you are studying and when you are pursuing Christ in your life. They do everything, anything. What did that song say? I'll do anything to see you. I need to be where you are. I need to be with you. I need to be a part of you. And I added the Lord Jesus Christ because he stood in a gap for me. He represented me. I'm saved, I'm sanctified, and I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. Are you? You can tell people all the time something. And you can tell them the truth until they turn blue in their face. And for them, that truth don't hold well. Because they got this thing this philosophy, if you would, this theory, if you would, I know you, I've been around you, you can't tell me a thing. But you, and, and you know, the, the Bible, in his word, it even states where a person said, oh Lord, I love you, I love you with all my heart, my soul, my mind. I love you, Lord. And then there's a part where God is explaining to them, how could you say you love me who you have never seen? Never seen. And you hate your brother who you see every day. I spoke one time and I preached that on the left hand, you have something negative to say about somebody. On the right hand, you have something positive to say. And it's your choice. Every day you live in your life, you have a choice. You can say something negative or you can say something positive. Who are you today? Are you the person that say something positive? Are you the person that's going to move forward and do what thus said the Lord and not do what the devil wants you to do?
The devil can't touch you. He can't move you. He can't sway you. He can't do anything to you. Unless you allow him.